I have made a lot of Samsung Galaxy tips and tricks videos over the years and in today's video I want to show you 10 features of the Galaxy phone that I cannot live without and if the phone didn't have them my life would probably be a lot harder. So let's get started with the very first one. Now the S Pen has to be one of the most useful features on the Galaxy phone and it's definitely a very interesting tool because you kind of go through a life cycle of I don't really ever need this, it's kind of useless until the day that you do need it and you realize just how powerful it is. And 99% of the time, the way I use my S Pen is to take screen memos. Now, I'm a very forgetful person and if something isn't right in front of me, I'm probably gonna forget about it. So what I like to do is just take my S Pen out of my phone and I can take screen memos directly on my screen. So if I have a doctor's appointment coming up or I need to run somewhere and pick something up, I can just quickly write it on my screen, pin it to my always on display, and then when I put my S Pen away, my phone will lock and I will always have that reminder on my always on display and every time I pick up my phone, I will be reminded of exactly what I need to do. And this is a feature that I use pretty much every single day, so I absolutely love being able to do this. But a few other ways that I use the S Pen is for things like making notes in my calendar. So if you open up your calendar, you'll see you have this little edit button right there. And if you tap on it, you can take your S Pen out and now you can annotate directly in your calendar. So let's say I have an event coming up in a couple of days, maybe it's somebody's birthday. I can just zoom in on my calendar and literally write in here with my S Pen and then I can save this and you can see it will stay right there in my calendar and I'll be reminded of any events that I have coming up. And another way that I love using the S Pen and this is one of those where you never really knew how powerful and useful this was until you needed to do exactly this but it is to take measurements of things. So a lot of times I need to go out and buy something and I need to maybe know measurements of my room or my couch or whatever it is that I need to buy. And you can just take this to the store with you and you have all of your measurements right in front of you. So you can go ahead and buy whatever it is that you need with the appropriate sizes. Now this is a feature that ever since I turned it on, I have never turned it off. I use it all the time and I absolutely love it. And it is the ability to have your phone announce the name of the caller that is calling you and give you the ability to voice answer or reject the call. Now to set this up, all you gotta do is go into your phone app, tap on the three dots here, go to settings, select answer and ending calls. And right here you see it says read caller names aloud. Simply enable this feature and make sure it's set to always. Next, what you wanna do is search for your Bixby app on your phone. Most Samsung phones should already have this. If your phone doesn't have it, just simply install it from the Galaxy Store. But once you have it, long press on it, go to Bixby settings, select talk to Bixby without wake up, enable this feature, and now what you're gonna be able to do is say answer call or reject call to answer or reject the phone call. And you can even control your alarms and timers using your voice as well. But the main feature in here is obviously the ability to answer or end a call using your voice. So now what's gonna happen is anytime somebody calls you on your phone and maybe you're washing the dishes or gardening and your hands are busy and you can't pick up your phone, your phone will announce the name of the person calling you so you know whether it's important or not. And then you can use your voice to answer or reject the call. This is definitely one of those features that I suggest everybody enable because it is just such a nice quality of life improvement. Now this is a feature that makes all iPhone users jealous because what this will allow you to do is manage your notifications to ignore which ones you don't care about and only receive the notifications you do care about on an app by app basis. Now to show you what this looks like, what you wanna do first is go into your phone settings, hit on the search bar and search for notification categories. Tap manage notification categories and then just simply enable this feature right here at the bottom. And now what you're gonna be able to do is manage all those notification categories in any specific app. So for example, let's say we want to use Instagram as an example, we can long press on it, tap on the eye icon over here, Go to notifications and down here we have a new option called notification categories which if you go into you can see you have a tick box for every single notification category and you can go in here and deselect whatever you don't care about so if you don't care about reminders or likes or you know and live videos or if you get a new follower you can disable those so you don't get bothered about them and only leave enabled the things that you do care about and you can do this with any app on your phone whether it's TikTok. Reddit, YouTube, again, Instagram, you can go ahead and set up all your notification categories to your liking. Now we all share lots of photos and videos with our family members, whether we're going on vacation or we're just shooting photos and videos of our kids. We are constantly sending and sharing photos between family members. And if you're using an app like WhatsApp or Telegram, the problem is those do not send them in original high quality resolution. There's always gonna be a little bit of compression even if you select HD and they are never going to receive the highest quality photos. But there's an awesome feature on the Galaxy phones that can fix that problem. What you wanna do is select any of the photos and the videos that you want to send in your gallery. So I'll just select these six 
And then if you tap share, instead of sending this via WhatsApp or Telegram or any of these other apps that you're usually using, just tap quick share. And what the phone will do is upload these original quality photos and videos to the Samsung cloud. And you can tap on this QR code or link right here and it will spit out a QR code that somebody else can scan with their phone to get access to that file in the Samsung Cloud, or you can just copy this URL if they're not beside you and they can't scan this QR code, and just text them this link or send it via email, and when they go to it, they will have all of those files in there in their original quality. And it's completely free to use and works with any device. So if the person who's accessing these files is using an iPhone or an Android or a Mac or a PC, it doesn't matter, they can easily access these and download all of those files in their original quality to their device. If you guys are not using routines on your Galaxy phones, I am about to put you onto a really powerful Samsung feature that everybody should know about. And Samsung has made it even better with the latest One UI 7 update. Now, if you wanna see my full routines video with all the routines that I set up on my Galaxy phone, I'll leave it linked in the description below. But I wanna quickly show you something cool that they added with One UI 7 that makes routines just insanely powerful. So if we go to my workout routine, you can see that there is an if statement here that says, if my health app is opened and I start a workout, and then in the then section, there's another if statement that says, if the exercise that is started is weight machines, there's a whole bunch of things in here that we'll do, but the main thing that I want you to focus on is it will turn on Bluetooth and connect specifically to my Beats Studio Pro headphones because these are the headphones that I like to wear when I'm working out. And then if we scroll down past this, there's an else statement in here that says, if any other workout is started aside from that, so if I'm going for a run or a walk, it will instead connect to my Galaxy Buds 3 Pros because these are the earphones that I like to wear when I go on a run and it will also turn on noise controls and voice detect. So if anybody tries talking to me while I'm on my run, I don't need to take my phone out of my pocket to pause the music or lower the volume. It will just automatically enable voice detect and anytime somebody tries to talk to me, my headphones will just turn on transparency mode and I'll be able to have a conversation with anybody that I want without having to turn off my music or lower my volume. The edge panel is another one of those features that I absolutely love on the Galaxy phone, not only because it allows you to just swipe out the edge panel and bring up all of your most used applications so you can quickly access anything you need without having to go searching through your phone for these apps. You can also have your clipboard in here, your reminders, and even measurement tools or the compass if you need these things in your life. But one thing I absolutely love about the edge panels that not a lot of people know, but what you can do is hide certain apps on your phone so that if people go searching for them, they will not be able to find them, but allow you to still have them in the edge panel and then make the edge panel invisible so that nobody even knows how to bring up your edge panel. So to show you an example, you can see if I go searching into my app tray and I look for my banking app, you can see nothing is showing up. I'm using the CIBC app for my banking, but it doesn't show up here. But if I bring out my edge panel, you can see the banking app is right here, so I can quickly access it. But what's cool is you might have not noticed, but my edge panel is actually invisible. I made it invisible and as small as possible so that nobody will actually know where to swipe from and I can place it anywhere on my screen, but only I know the secret right here that if I swipe it out, I have my banking app right here so I can quickly access it. I don't wanna make this video too long, so if you wanna know about the process of how to set that up, I'll leave a link in the description below, so definitely go ahead and check it out. But the edge panels are definitely a really powerful Samsung feature that just make using your phone much easier, quicker, and also have some of these cool hidden tricks that a lot of people don't know about. Now, I'm somebody who's a little bit of a minimalist and I like things to be really neat and tidy, but I also like to have everything easily and quickly accessible to me. And being able to stack widgets on the Galaxy phone allows me to do all of that because you can see that my display looks fairly clean. There's not a lot of things on here, but having the ability to stack widgets allows me to access all of the important things that I need without making my home screen look cluttered and messy because what I can do is have my calendar widget right here. And then if I swipe over, you can see I have my reminders widget. And if I swipe over again, I have my calendar widget. And then down here, I have my Samsung health statistics. If I swipe over, I have my sleep score. And if I swipe over again, I have my digital well-being that shows me how much screen on time I've had with my phone. And the way to do this is first, what you wanna do is put a widget on your home screen. So if you long press on your home screen, go to widgets. You can scroll through here and find whatever widget that you want, but we'll just take something from here as an example, tap on it and drag it onto your home screen. And now you can tap and hold on it again and you can create a stack and add another widget into here. So we can click something like Samsung internet, add it. And now you're gonna see that it creates a widget stack and we can just scroll between these widgets and everything looks nice and neat while giving us extra access to all of the things that we need. 
AI is pretty much all the craze these days. All of the phone manufacturers are trying to just cram a bunch of AI features in the phone. And a lot of them are a little bit gimmicky, stuff that you might use once and just never go back to again. But there are a few really useful ones on the Galaxy phones especially. Samsung has done a really good job with AI in my opinion. They're definitely doing better than any other phone out there. Uh, especially iPhone. But what's really powerful about Gemini on the Galaxy phone is it works in tandem with Bixby. And this allows you to take cross application actions. So you can do things like search for things on the internet and then add them maybe to your Samsung notes or to your calendar. And you can do it all through Gemini and it will work with Bixby to add these things into your phone. So to show you a cool example of this, I'm gonna invoke Gemini and then ask, look up when the next Formula One race is and add it to my calendars and set a one hour reminder before the event starts. And there you go, just like that, in a couple of seconds, you can see it used Gemini to look up the Formula One schedule, and then it handed the task off to Bixby to add it into my Samsung calendars, and then set a one hour reminder before the race starts, so that I'm aware that the race is coming up, and I can maybe run home or just get ready to watch it. So if you have Gemini, and especially a Galaxy phone, definitely give it a try. It is a really, really powerful feature. This is something that you just have to experience, because ever since Samsung brought in this anti-reflective coating on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, I honestly notice it every time I don't have it. I test a lot of different phones and the anti-reflective screen on here makes the viewing experience of your phone so much better, especially if you're using this outside in broad daylight or you have lights around you. Being able to look at your screen and not get these huge reflections in your eyes is an absolutely amazing feeling. So to show you another phone that I have right here without this technology, as you can see just how much less light the Galaxy phone is reflecting compared to the Pixel phone over here. I cannot go back to a phone that does not have this. I'm telling you, every time I pick up a phone and it doesn't have this anti-reflective coating, I notice it immediately. And it just, it makes a very big difference in using your phone. Now we can't have a top Samsung Galaxy features video without mentioning good luck. Good luck is the absolute goaded MVP of Samsung features. And with One UI 7, Samsung has made it even more powerful. There's no way that I can fit all of these things into this video. So I will be making a video about some of my favorite Good luck features in 2025. So if you want to see that video, definitely leave a comment below and subscribe to this video so you don't miss it. But some of the things that I use on a daily basis with good luck that I will talk about in this video is things like one hand operation plus. So you can see if I swipe down diagonally, it will take a screenshot. People are constantly asking me how I'm doing this. It's through good luck. If I swipe down and hold diagonally, it will take a screen recording. If I swipe up diagonally, it will bring up my Play Store. If I swipe up diagonally and hold, it will bring up my Galaxy Store. If I swipe from the side and hold, it will bring up my Health app. And you can do the same thing from the other side. You can map up to 12 actions that you can take from either side of your phone, which is absolutely crazy. You also have things like back tap and double back tap where you can tap the back of your phone to bring up certain applications or take screenshots or take other actions. You also have Noti Star where on my lock screen, you can see I have these two up arrows that when I swipe up on it, it will bring up all of my notification history and I can just scroll through anything that I might have missed. And I can do this all directly from my lock screen without having to go into my phone, unlock it, go into my settings, go into my notification history and see it from there. Everything is available to me immediately right from my lock screen. And that is just extremely convenient. And like I said earlier, I love things that I can do immediately from my phone without having to fiddle with it, or go into my phone, unlock things and just search for things. I can do this all directly from my lock screen. So good luck is definitely one of those things that if you're a Galaxy user, it's almost a must have. And if you don't have it, I highly suggest you check it out. So again, if you wanna see that video, let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. But there you go, guys. Those are my 10 Galaxy features that I cannot live without. I pretty much use these on a regular daily basis. And if you recently picked up a Galaxy phone and you wanna know some of the first things that you should do on your phone, check out this video. And if you wanna know some amazing quality of life features that I suggest everybody enable on their phone to make your phone experience much better, check out this video. But that's gonna do it for now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.